Lloyd's Legacy Jungle Raider, a really, really underrated set in my opinion. Today we're going to be going over it, uh, basically reviewing it, and I'm going to be telling you guys why I like this set so much, and why it's actually a really, really underrated Legacy set. So without further ado, let's get into this. Alright then, so starting off with the front then, you've got that really, really nice Green Ninja symbol sticker at the front there. It looks really, really nice, and although it is a sticker, it does look great. And then here's a quick side view of the whole thing. As you can see, it looks really, really nice from the side too. Especially for the price of this thing, by the way. They've really pulled off a really nice look. And then uh, taking a better look at the side, you've got that gold sticker there. And a gold bar next to it. You can see a small light there, which is a pretty simple build. But uh, yeah, then you've got these black bars that really um, hold Lloyd in place to the thing and make it look really, really nice. And then here's a look at more of the back end of the thing. It does still look nice, although there are some Technic pieces showing, but I think it fits in enough. And then you've got those back wing pieces, a gold katana up on the top. And then, you know, you've the same on the other side, all the same printing, all the same everything pretty much. And uh, yeah, there's another front for you once again. And yeah. So overall, although it is small, it really does look great. I really do love this front view of the whole thing. And then lastly, for this main play feature, basically what you do is you press down and the suspension actually, well, it works. You have a suspension in such a small set. As you can see, it works by um, a small Technic piece attached to the wheel and a small rubberized piece up there, if you can see that. And basically, they just clip onto each other. And as, when you push down, it creates that really, really nice suspension. And it's really effective. You can go over some kind of rough terrain, I suppose. And the suspension would actually work like a real vehicle. So that is really, really nice, especially for the price of this set. I just can't believe they actually managed to do that. And yeah, I think it's a really nice design. We've definitely got to praise the creator for that. And then lastly, here is the Lloyd minifigure included. Just the simple Legacy 2 Lloyd. Uh, I believe this one does actually say Manta on the front instead of Master. So that's pretty nice. The back printing looks cool too. Taking off the hair, you can see a better look at the face. That same one we've been getting for years now. They really need to update that. But yeah, overall, this is a really nice inclusion to this small set, and it makes sense, and it's just a really nice figure. Glad they included it. So, my full thoughts. I think this is a really, really underrated set. I don't see many people talking about it. I honestly do think it is better than the original one we got back in 2015. And especially now, if you can find a good deal for this thing, I'd highly recommend picking it up. You can probably find it for about £9 or $10, something like that. It's really worth the price. You get that really, really nice suspension feature too. And yeah, it's definitely worth picking up once again. I highly recommend it. So if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one and more. And consider turning on post notifications as more of these videos are coming very, very soon. With all of this being said, I will see you all in my next one. Bye.